welcome to a very special edition of the Full Force News Burst brought to you by GeneralsJoes.com with me as your host, Chris All Out Action McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. On this instalment of your absolutely favourite kind of burst, we have managed to get the huge scoop on the as yet unrevealed name of Bobby Valor's brand new Kickstarter project. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. Over the last few months, ex-Hasbro designer Bobby Valla has been teasing us with images of a project on his Instagram page for a 6-inch military action figure line that will be released via a Kickstarter project later this year. Some of the details were divulged over the last weekend on the video podcast Just Another G.I. Joe Show, but he has saved the big name reveal for us for, well, reasons that will become clear momentarily. First off, thanks for jumping on to do this, Bobby. How are you doing this fine evening, sir? I am fantastic very excited to be on the show uh thanks for having me thanks for allowing me to come on and uh give you the scoop but i am very very excited to to actually talk about it finally awesome okay well i mean you've come on tonight to reveal the name of your brand new kickstarter project but before you tell us and the listeners slash viewers let's let's cause some real suspense here could you fill us in on what the project is about and why you've decided to take this on so the reason that i'm i'm doing this is once you know the uh the unfortunate layoffs from hasbro happened i wasn't sure you know what i was going to do but i knew uh, obviously i wanted to stay in the toy industry yeah and you know i thought about it and a lot of people said oh you know you'd be really successful at doing your own thing and I was kind of bouncing it off people and I was like, you know what? It might be fun to actually do my own thing. A little scary because, you know, I've always been working for a corporation, but now it's like, oh wow, like taking the plunge to kind of do your own thing is is a is a very intimidating journey. Yeah. But I said, you know what, let let me let me mull it over and I, I started to think about it. And then I started to think about what I would do if I was doing something. Right now, the three and three quarter market is covered by everyone. Yeah. Uh, there's really talented people doing every genre out there. So I said, well, I'm not going to do three and three quarter, which was unfortunate because that's my favorite scale. Yeah. But with my time on Marvel Legends doing six inch, I learned a lot about that scale. And that is now kind of the in scale. And it's you get the most bang for your buck as far as costing. Uh, for it because it, it costs almost the same to tool a three and three quarter inch figure as it does a six inch figure. All right. And uh, I, I looked at you know the landscape of six inch and I said, well, what is six inch missing? You know, there's the four horsemen taking on the fantasy end. There's obviously Marvel and Star Wars, but yeah. you know we're missing something at six inch. Uh, we're missing a little a little military flair. And <laughs> there was a time when I was at Hasbro that you know they were they were mulling over possibly doing six inch Joe and. People have talked about Six Inch Joe, and I said, you know what? It's really unfortunate that nothing's being done with the brand, and there's that need for it, and there's that gap in the collector market. And I said, you know what? Let me capitalize on on that and, and hopefully put something out that I want and that I believe that the majority of Joe fans want. Yeah. And it's not just Joe fans. It's, it's collectors in general. I mean, this is specifically marketed for Joe fans because I, I love the Joe collector – and I think this is a, a good sort of freshness for them. But also, you know, collectors in general, I think this is going to target, you know, that that six inch collector as well. Yeah. When Star Wars Black Series started, you know, Marvel Legends was already established and they got a lot of people that were Marvel Legends fans buying Star Wars Black because at the end of the day, you want Wolverine standing next to Boba Fett on your shelf yeah. and to be in scale with each other. So why not, you know, do something that's in scale with what people are already purchasing? Yeah. So that's what ultimately made me go that route and, uh, you know, just mulling it over and thinking about all the directions I wanted to take it. I, you know, I thought, okay, well, you know, First, I got to, you know, establish myself as a company and then what do I want to do as the launch for the figure line? And I ended up coming across uh, something that when I when I say it, I think people are going to be really excited for. Don't reveal the name yeah, just yet. No, no, no. I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't blow it yet. But uh, I, I'll just say that, you know, w when I thought of it, I said, you know what, that's it. And then once I, I established that the name, it got me really excited, and I've been trucking ever since. Yeah. Night and day, I'm working on this stuff, and I have this this kind of renewed creativity working on all this stuff. I, I, I've 
been so excited and I've had a blast doing it every day. Awesome. What kind of details can you divulge at the moment about the actual line itself? Um, is, is there anything you can kind of discuss or are you waiting for the Kickstarter to drop? No, I, I can I can tell you a lot about it. So the the line I've created, uh, it's not it's not going to be what a lot of people have seen in Kickstarters where it's, you know, a, a customizable action figure line. Like, yes, there will be some customizable aspects to it. Right. But I want it to be its own IP. I've created a story. I've created individual characters. So it, it's it, you're getting something essentially. I don't want to sound like I'm ripping off GI Joe, but I'm ripping off GI Joe. It's <laughs> it is a military line with unique characters and a story. And I, I have worked with some people to help me kind of flesh out the story and help me flesh out the characters. And I think we got some really compelling subject matter here that when people see it and read it they're gonna be like wow there's there's some some thought into this yeah you know i i take nothing away from customizable lines i think they're fantastic and i think the customizable community is so deep but i wanted this to be one of those things where you know the people getting into it are are kind of married to it and you know when they see the site and the site will be up for a, a solid month uh, before the Kickstarter starts so that people can get acquainted mm. with the story and these characters so that when it does launch, they're like, wow, that's I couldn't wait for that character. That's the character I was really looking forward to. And yeah. that's what I, I'm really looking looking for uh, when people see the line. As far as more details, it's, you know, I'm doing a, a highly articulated, highly detailed figure of multiple accessories, great deco, all premium quality. I'm working with a great consultant and factory that specializes in collector action figures so we're making sure that the quality is all there you know and with my experience uh in the toy industry working on collector lines like marvel legends uh, i feel like i've put in put all that into it to make sure that when you guys see it uh you're going to know that you're getting a quality product fantastic and we have been seeing little teases here and there of your stuff on instagram as well which i'll be flashing up on uh, on this video as well but um i mean what stage are you at with the project currently you mentioned there that you've been working with factories you've been working with like consultants on, on the storyline mm. and everything are we i mean are, have you kind of hit the sculpting stage or is that going to be kind of yeah enveloped? Yes. Oh, okay wow sculpting is almost finished wow so you are moving fast I'm on this fast <laughs> i'm moving really fast and when when i first started talking about this uh i i talked to a couple friends who have done you know the kickstarter thing before and yeah i told them what my plan was and they're like wow that's like a really ambitious like schedule and it, they, they said it as if like they were like yeah that's never gonna happen <laughs> but i i'm like listen i I don't have a job, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have a job anymore. I got, I got laid off from Hasbro. So this is my job now. Yeah. So all day long I'm working on this stuff. So I established the characters and I did the inputs and I created all, all of them and I got really talented sculptors right off the bat. And cool. you know, I was able to get the work finished so fast that I, I could kick off sculpts quick. And, you know, I told my sculptors, I said, listen, uh, this is when I want to launch. Can we hit this date? And they were like, yep, we can hit that date. That's and I even awesome. talked to my head sculptor last night. I said, we're still good, right? I said, because I feel good. Do you feel good? He goes, I feel great. And I'm like, fantastic. He sent me some updates today that I still have to look at. So I'm really excited to, to check those over. But sculpts are going great. And I, I showed one sculpt on Instagram, but I've wanted to show more uh, yeah. just because everyone's just seen my input drawings. But it is moving at a really, really quick pace. Um, I lined up a design house that will be doing my 3D printing and my uh, molding and casting yeah. so that when we have all the sculpt files, I'll, I'll have those printed, molded and casted. I have an individual who wants to help with the uh, paint masters. So I'm really excited for that cool. because... The, the ideas at Joe Fest is to be able to show the prototype paint masters wow. for everyone to see. So yeah, we're, we're moving really, really fast. I have really talented people working on some character art for the website. I got a great web developer. I, I got a great logo guy. It, it's like I got people that really, really believe in the project. And that, I think that's the, the great thing about, you know, the Joe community and the toy industry uh, community is that when people heard I was kind of doing something, people just wanted to help. They're like, "Hey, can I be a part of it? Like this, this sounds really great. Like I, I just want to, I just want to help." So I lined up some really talented people to help me with the things that I couldn't do uh, that will allow me to focus on uh, all the design aspects. So I've designed every figure, every accessory. 
uh, every deco scheme. So, you know, uh, like I said, I've been, I've been cranking and it's, it's been intense. Sweet. I love the term cranking. Um, Crank it. <laughs> uh, okay. So I, th- I think, I think we've, I think we've made everybody squirm enough already <laughs> on, on, on this. Could you go ahead and reveal the name of your Kickstarter project, please, Bobby? Yes. Yes, I can. So before I, I say it, I, I mean, there's, there's two things that I'm going to be announcing that, you know, in order to do a figure line, you have to have a company behind it. So I had to go and create my own company, which will be the company that's producing this line of figures and my company, which is already established and will launch very shortly. Actually, as you're listening to this podcast, you'll be able to go <laughs> on. Pressing the, return, the enter button as you say yeah. it, right? <laughs> you will be able to go to valiverse.com. And Valiverse. To- Valiverse is the name of my company that I've created and nice. established. You know, did did all the, the big boy adult things, you know, <laughs> filed it with the, the state, got, a, you know, company bank accounts, that kind of thing, filled out all the, the tax ID numbers, all that kind of crazy stuff you don't think of, but that is my company. Awesome. That will appear on the package packages for my figure line. Wow. How does that sound coming out of your mouth, by oh, the way? Oh, man. <laughs> sounds pretty crazy, you know, to think about it, because I've wanted to, like, say it for so long, and I'm giving all these teasers. It's like, I, I you know, and I have no patience, so it's like, I wish I could just dump all the information on everyone, like, right now <laughs> or like, a month ago. But I was like, no, let me just do it strategically. Let me just wait and build up some anticipation for it and now i'm excited to finally say but the big reveal the big reveal reveal. here we go the name of my action figure line my six inch military highly detailed highly articulated collectible military action figure line will be called action force what yes action there's going to be a big explosion. Your logo is going to fly out of the screen. This is that's crazy. Okay, well, that's awesome. A few questions spring to mind there, Bobby. Sure, ask away. How did you come to acquire the rights to that name? And also, so, what well, what what made you decide on using it for this particular project? Well, obviously, because you know, I I couldn't use GI Joe, but at the same time, I also didn't want to use GI Joe. You know, that's GI Joe is its own thing. It has history, but I also wanted something that maybe tugged on, you know, the, the nostalgic heartstrings of collectors out there. Yeah. Yes. Some might say that I've stolen the name, but I, I didn't (laughs) because there's a company that let the action force trademark run abandoned. And I looked at it and I said, you know what? That will probably never see the light of day if it's left like that. Yeah. So I felt like, why not, you know, bring it back from the dead and give it, you know, a fresh new sort of makeover. Yeah. And I thought it would be really fun to to throw back to Action Force. You know, I didn't grow up in the UK like you, but I know Action Force. And I think that Action Force was such a, a great line. And, it's you know, yes, it's not important to me as far as childhood goes but i i also wanted to do it for for the people that did grow up with it you know to say like hey here here is action force back you know yes it's not you're not getting red jackal and red laser and and all the joe characters but i'm going to give you something new and fresh that is this is the new action force and i hope people really enjoy what i'm doing sort of you know bringing this back and hopefully bringing it back in a a really good way that's going to last for a long time. Fantastic. Well, I mean, I don't know what to say really. I mean, it's you know that that's some pretty heavy reveal dropping right there. If you think that's heavy, just wait. There's, I have there's more. <laughs> oh, I have big surprises coming. I I'm not nothing I could say yet, but we'll just say that uh, when the Kickstarter launches, I've saved a big surprise for everyone, and it, it's going to be huge. But wow. I'm really excited to to finally say Action Force because for so long I've been talking to people about it, and I just haven't been able to say anything. Yeah, you know, some you know people that have that are doing work for me, they signed NDAs and they they know what I was doing, but even they were like, "Wow, this is this is so great! I can't wait till you tell people about it." So it's finally great to tell people that the line is going to be action force it should be called the relief not the reveal right <laughs> <laughs> tell me about it. i'm like oh my god this, this weight has been lifted off of me but 
as we're as we're speaking, as this the show will be uploaded, the site valiverse.com will be live, and on valiverse.com there will be a section for Action Force, so that when you click on it, it will give you the synopsis of the story that I've created for the IP, and you'll be able to click on characters, see character art, read character bios, see the actual figure art. It's wow. something people never do. I'm, I'm posting my actual input drawings, my figure art that the sculpts are being done off of. Cool. So you'll be able to see all that. I'm only going to give you a few to start, and then you know each week I'm going to post one or two characters just to kind of get everyone really excited uh, leading up to the Kickstarter. Uh, so by the time happen. the kickstart comes out you'll have 300 characters <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like it's going to eclipse the original joe like 82 to 94 kind I of know. character line oh. isn't it that's that's been the hardest part is kind of keeping a wrangle on myself it's you know the the plan for the kickstarter is to have the initial fun goal be five individual characters sure. uh, there will be four four characters and one character is essentially a troop builder but they are they are only all, all unique and uh, i'll be able to i'll be showing those five figures as the site goes on but you know doing stretch goals and things like that you know there's there's new characters along the way uh, there's new new deco schemes for some existing characters and like different mission deco gear packs that kind of thing. Yeah. But I've had to kind of stop myself. Like every day, I'll come up with three or four new characters and I'll jot them down. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to start drawing that character. But I'm like, wait, I can't get carried away because you know you have to think about it. Like you don't want to have 25, 30 different characters in one year. You yeah, know, yeah. no no figure line really did that. So I'm. I have to like save things for year two and year three. Yeah, and it's not like you can tell people about them because that kind of spoils the surprise and all that <laughs> kind of know. stuff. So yeah, I yeah. Know. And you're not good at this. You're not good at sitting on I'm, information. No, you? I know. I'm terrible <laughs> at it. I'm surprised I like kept this a big secret. <laughs> I almost dropped the ball on the Fred and Mike show. You know, last week, a couple Brilliant. weeks ago, I almost said the name. And I'm like, oh, the whole time I kept thinking, like, don't say the name, don't say the name. <laughs> But yeah, now I can finally say it. This is so, oh, this is great. Well, that's, yeah. that's awesome. That's fantastic. Action Force by Valiverse. So very, very excited. I hope people are just as excited. Um, I know not not everyone is a is a six inch collector, but I hope everyone digs what I'm I'm putting out there and presenting uh, because I've, I've I put a lot of work into it. I'm really excited about it. So you know, all feedback is welcome. Obviously, there will be a uh, uh, as of right now the along with the the valiverse.com site a uh the the facebook valiverse facebook will be uh live as well and the valiverse instagram so i have all the platforms for you to you know throw feedback out there give your comments i and i will make sure that i will be you know replying to everyone i said from the start that this will be different from maybe other kickstarters in the past or other toy companies that have done things i'm going to give constant updates i have always believed that you should keep the fans and the the consumers the people you know supporting you always in the loop always let let them know i felt when i was at Hasbro, we didn't do that nearly enough. Uh, I always want to be able to reach out to the fans all the time and talk with them and answer their questions and not just kind of leave them hanging. So I will be doing constant, you know, maybe not daily, but, you know, definitely weekly, a couple times a week doing, you know, updates on the site, on Instagram, on Facebook, posting new things. Uh, replying to to comments, talking to all of you about you know uh, your thoughts and your feedback and that kind of thing. So I will be uh, reachable for sure. Uh, you know, just just bear with me because I'm sure it'll be a lot. Hopefully, it's a lot of comments. So I'll have to take some time to you know wade through all that and and answer everyone's question and, and respond to them. Um, and then that all leads up to uh, Joe Fest. As long as the uh, fingers crossed that the Kickstarter funds, because that's my my biggest fear is that the Kickstarter doesn't fund. Yeah. And uh, I have to cancel my invitation to Joe Fest, but uh, hopefully it all funds and it all goes well. And we hit a lot of stretch goals. And we unlock a lot of characters. And then Joe Fest is going to be right around the corner and we're going to show some great stuff. We're going to have uh, shirts, patches, art prints for sale. Cool. Uh, I've got I've got a really great Joe Fest exclusive art print for the show. Yeah. So it's 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 really exciting. And uh, I, there's really not much more I can, I can say. I can. <laughs> well, Dude, I mean, that brings us to the end of the interview. Dude, I mean, thanks for jumping on again. Are you excited? It's like, that's why I saved this for you. Of course, it's Action you, Force. Mr. You, Mr. Action Force, said, I, and I knew from the start, I said, when I did this, I said, I know whose show I'm going to do it on. And it has to be <laughs> the show. 
Uh, I'm very appreciative that you uh, decided to do that. Absolutely, and, and dude, thank you so much for jumping on. Good luck with the project. We'll have you oh, on again. Thank you. We'll have you on again. You know, when the Kickstarter kind of goes live. Great. And um, we'll talk talk it through again. But I mean, dude. I mean, in the meantime, full force. Am I right? <laughs> Full force, full action force, baby. Full action force. That's it for this installment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my wonderful guest, Bobby Valor. Check out Valorverse.com. It's going to be action force, the Kickstarter. Guys, see you next time. And as always, full action force. Damn. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. And as always, you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter, at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com slash The Full Force. And if you would like to contact the show, you can message us on either of these platforms with feedback, questions or to say, who do you think you are? A serious operation now? No, not even close. Look out for more of these news bursts that we are posting on the Facebook page from now on. Full Force.